What's good, YouTube? In this video, I wanted to show you kind of a slept on formation called the Dollar Sugar 3 2. Uh, this is a formation that I honestly haven't ran much this year, but it's actually something I'm finding late in the year to be really, really effective. Now, if you want to learn um, all the ins and outs of this defense, make sure that you join our Patreon. This is something that's going to be really good in Madden 23, um, especially because dollar sets don't get weak box. This is actually one of the few dime sets where the weak box in Madden 22 is actually fairly, um, like it's just not really consistent. It doesn't really weak box it a lot. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to give you kind of a, a little mini scheme today um, out of this little blitzing package that I found that I think is really effective in both Madden 22 and Madden 23. I did lab this set in Madden 23, and it is still really, really effective. So um, again, like I said, if you want to get access to all my Madden eBooks, make sure you join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. It gets you access to everything. Um, and the cool part about August is you'll get all the Madden 22 material, and you'll also get all of the Madden 23 stuff as soon as it launches uh, in a couple of weeks. But anyways, a uh, couple key things with this formation. Basically, the bottom line is um, our base defense is going to be this DB Fire 2. But I'm going to show you a really, really cool little blitz concept that you can use out of some of the other plays. Uh, but you have D DB Fire 2. You also have Cover 4 Drop. Another play that you have in here that I really like is the Cover 1 Robber Press. The key word is press. Cover 1 Robber Press is much, much better than just Cover 1 Robber. Um, the press is especially really good in Madden 23, so that's something to note. And then lastly, um, we have this uh, Double Safety Blitz where we can actually, uh, by calling this an audibly to any play, we can come out and you know kind of be in an interesting position. So that's kind of the basic ins and outs of the scheme. And now let's get into some of the blitzing concepts. So for this scheme, I like to have auto alignment on um, or auto flip on. And that's pretty much the only adjustment. You can have baseline on. Let me show you this double safety thing first, and then we'll get into some of the other stuff with this. But this is the only, um, I believe this is the only dime one four six dollar type set that has a double safety blitz like this. And then you'll see here when I audible to DB fire, it puts us in a really good position. These guys are really, this is going to be really important for Madden 23 because these two safeties are really, really important for guarding uh, seam streaks. It's very helpful to have them down in the box. Our setup is really simple. We're going to crash our line down. And then I like to kind of stand, you know, right about here. And we're going to run down at the center, just like we do with dollar. And what you're going to see here is this is going to create kind of a nice little five man pressure. Um, normally you get pressure through the a gap. Sometimes it can be a little fluky. If you don't base a line, I will show that uh, really quickly. So when we audible to DB fire uh, two, we might want to go ahead and base the line. We're going to have to manually press that slot corner over there um, and then manually press the outside guys. If we want them to press down, um, if we, regularly press that's not going to work because it'll put our safeties back at the top of the key but anyways you see here um, blitz works a little better that time you see the disengage we're getting um, this is very consistent in madden 22 and in madden 23 these edge blitzes like this they're really good um, especially in the beta they were really good um, and this i really like because you can get both safeties in the gap but as you can see you're going to get one guy free now um, the beauty of this defense is that a lot of times in this, let's say that they block, um, let's say that they block a running back, for example. One of the things that I have found with this defense, um, the more that I have ran it, is the running back's not always super consistent. As you see right there, he kind of picks it up, but we're going to get a quick shed animation to the quarterback. So, you know, you, you can't necessarily just automatically assume that the running back is going to pick this blitz up. Um, and another thing that's really nice about having these linebackers in the gaps Let's say we want to blitz all of our linebackers and create a six-man pressure that looks exactly the same. Um, and let's say we want to do something like that. Well, as you can see, now we're going to send crazy pressure off of the right and the left side. So it gives us the ability to do some interesting things with our pressures. Now, another thing that I want to talk about or another blitzing concept is actually out of the cover four drop. And what we're going to do, what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to go back and press. Um, and what I like to do is I'm going to blitz the safety. This was, we saw this out of, um, two, three, six will this year, but it's actually better at a dollar, um, sugar three, two, because these defensive linemen are wider. And so you're just going to blitz this guy. You're not going to move him down. You're going to keep him deep. Um, and then you're going to contain. And what you'll see is a lot of times this guy on the left side, um, will come off of the edge. And again, it has to do with the wide alignment. Um, a little bit of agility is certainly required. Uh, for this 
but what you'll see, let me show you to you a couple times here. I could move him just a little bit, but I can't like wholesale move him down. If I do, it's going to be really problematic for the pressure. Some of this has to do with JPB's agility, but you can also do this. Let's say that they flip their play. What I like about this is this is still a symmetrical formation, just like dollar, um, just like dollar is. It's a symmetrical formation, so we can come back over here and basically do the same basic concept. And as you can see, because Devin White's a little faster, a little more agility, he's going to be a little bit more consistent for this blitz. But this is something else you can kind of mix in with this. Um, let's say that you're watching this video and you're like, well, I want my defense to always look the same. One of the things that's nice about pulling these safeties down is I can click on and user this guy. And if I stand about right here, sometimes this blitz will still come in, um, as you can see. It, 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 can, it can still work um, with him on this outside angle, uh, if you will. So, you know, again, you know, just going to kind of uh, mess around with this a little bit. You just want to get this guy on an outside, um, basically on an outside blitz angle. You know, so if we did something like like this, and then again, we want to kind of kind of get this guy in the, in the right um, in the right gap. I'm not sure if it'll work right here. Um, it might, but what you'll see is, you know, there you go. You see it kind of coming through. So that's the idea uh, for the defense. And then the other thing that I really like about this is, if I wanted to just run like more of a coverage setup, this cover four drop just literally stock. Um, is really, really good. Um, you might want to bring this guy kind of down like this. In Madden 22, it's really good to bring these guys like closer, or in Madden 23, I apologize. So that's just something to kind of keep an eye on. But as you can see here, just shading this coverage underneath if you want to, this is a really good coverage. You just want to blitz your user. And then I actually, when I run this defense, especially if I'm playing an escape artist, I'll hit the contain rush. If I'm not playing an escape artist, then I'll let these D linemen rush and you'll get really good sheds out of this defense. It's probably the best sheds in the game, in my opinion. See how quickly they're going to get off their blocks. And you've walked the safeties into a place where they can really be effective against seam streaks, crossers, quick posts, um, which kind of makes it a lot more simple uh, for your user, just in terms of what your user is actually going to need to cover. You're going to be able to just simply lurk the wide side crosser. So let's say that we're running a play, you know, like verticals. These linebackers in the gaps are really good for that. You'll see that these um, outside quarters do a really good job as well. So this is a fun little defense to kind of mess around with. I think this is actually um, going to be a really, really good defense in Madden 23 uh, because of the fact that the pressure is going to be a little bit better than it is in Madden 22 and because of the fact that you can create some really cool coverages uh, uh, with this defense. And I love the fact that we can walk the safeties into the box uh, with this with this concept. One last thing I want to show you is overload three seam. Um, so what you'll see with over, overload three seam is if we pinch our linebackers um, and we press, you're going to see kind of a loop, uh, kind of a interesting little concept here. But occasionally this will loop through the A gap just like that. Um, and so that's something else that you can kind of add to your repertoire uh, with this. But I, I can't stress enough how much I really like being able to run DB fire and just walk these guys in. And I'm telling you, these walk-ins on a contain in Madden 23 are really good. Um, they're still okay in Madden 22 as well. And one last thing I wanna talk about for uh, contains in this video is if we contain, you see we don't have to walk the left side guy or the right side guy, we just have to walk this guy in. Now, the beauty of this guy being on a contain and because these guys are widened out, um, these blitzers are widened out, okay? What's going to happen is sometimes if they block a running back, this contain rusher um, will come around the edge at the at the running back. Now, this one is not exactly as effective in Madden 23, but the same basic idea is still really good. And another little cool thing you can do in Madden 23 is I can man this guy up on the running back, and if the running back goes on a route, you know he's gonna he's gonna guard him. If the running back doesn't, he's gonna kind of dumb him out in a blocking uh, mechanic. So you could do something like this, and as you can see, it's very effective against a blocked running back. So, anyways, that's the dollar three dollar uh, sugar three two defense. At least a little mini scheme for you. More to come on this in Madden twenty three. Love this defense. If you want to learn more about it immediately, make sure you join our Patreon. That's where you can get all my Madden ebooks. Um, and of course, you're gonna have everything for Madden twenty one, Madden twenty two, and of course for Madden twenty three. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.